Hi, we're at Dr. Jen's off at Kitsap Foot and Ankle, and we have Julian with the ABI PRP company. The PRP company, for, yeah. which stands for? Well, actually, ABI stands for Ascend Biologics Innovation. Okay. We're based out of Seattle. I work in the South Sound. We're here in Bremerton today in Dr. Gent's office. Uh, we've just drawn 18 cc's of patient's whole blood. There was two cc's of ACDA, which is a citrate uh, dextrose uh, chemical that keeps the blood from clotting. So I could keep it in here for, you know, probably 30 minutes without any real problems of the blood clotting. Now I'm going to put it into a centrifuge device which is a I put some ACDA in here also to keep it from anticoagulating. This is a plastic disposable device. When we're finished with this we'll throw it away. It's patient specific and so we're going to put the blood, there's two sizes you can see here. We're going to put it into the red stopper and this is sterile inside so it's just it's for one patient single use. And so I put the white tip toward the front. I have a counterweight here of approximately the same weight as this. If I was using a larger one, I'd use a larger counterweight to get balance for the centrifuge. Close the lid, start, and you'll see a 14 comes on there immediately. That means we have 14 minutes to spend. Okay. We'll see you in a minute or two, or 14. Okay. So, tell me anything else you'd like to tell from your experience. I mean, I just... Wow, I could read you enough tape? <laughs> just, just give me a minute or two. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty well read up on it myself. Well, I start patient. these, I give clinical seminars and uh, in-services to nursing staff. My favorite application to this is in the surgical arena where uh, they'll spray it into a wound uh, patients to uh, help their advance their healing process, obviously. Uh, it's very popular in foot and ankle. Uh, my theory on that is because patients' uh, compliance depends on their mobility. And if they can get up and moving uh, faster, they're, they're going to. And, uh, and sometimes foot and ankle patients have a very short window for a response to happen. It's the, it's the furthest from the heart, so it's an area of low vascularity, so it needs as much help in healing. Um, and that's, I think they have been on the forefront of this technology. Cranial maxillofacial facial to make bone in the jaw is another uh, advancing technology for this, mostly because the, the surgeons get paid whenever they make bone in there, and if they can do it faster, then uh, they'll do so. It's been very popular in sports medicine, uh, mostly in athletes that make a lot of money or either cash paying patients because the insurance companies for some reason haven't come around to the understanding that you can actually uh, make a difference with patients healing uh, and even go, uh, prevent them from going to surgery uh, a lot of times with uh, repairing tendons percutaneously putting these platelets in there. Um, I say uh, when I do an in-service, I'll ask people to raise their hand if they know the chief modulator for healing in the body, and no one raises their hands. This is a lot of clinical people, and I'll ask them to go out and ask their surgeon at the scrub sink if they know the chief modulator of healing in the body. Well. And then I'll say, well, do you know what hate platelets are? And then they'll say, oh yeah, there, there are these um, proteins in, in blood that will uh, uh, start clotting and, and stop blood from bleeding. Well, I was going to say, I'm not, I don't have a medical background, but certainly I would say life is in the blood. Well, that's true. And I, my limited amount of research, um, it just bears witness with me, you know, spirit, soul, and body, because I'm a, a Christian woman, and I do a lot of praying, and right. I believe in giving the body the best natural healing things that you can give it. And, you know. And well, if you'll get a close-up here, it says autologous biologics. And autologous means from your body back to your body. Yeah. So that's what we promote is using your own uh, blood components to, to, uh, to help your body. You're right. There's nothing's going to heal your body better. But that's what these platelets do. They gravitate to the site. They stimulate histamine to cause inflammation. And surgeons like inflammatory response. They know you're healing if it's, it's swelling right. up. Um, and then at that point under this tension, under this compression of the swelling, they release the growth factors that signal phagocytes to eat the dead tissue and stem cells to regenerate and lay down new tissue. And that happens in whether you're hit extrinsically or, or hit intrinsically. Um, so PRP is very popular for, uh, I call it three kicks at the can. You got chronic wounds for neuropathic uh, uh, diabetic ulcers, that sort of thing. You've got um, acute, you know, like in a surgical setting to close a wound. 
and uh, and then percutaneous for injections, uh, which you're going to have today. Yeah, um, I'm having it in. Well, Dr. Jen will have to specifically tell me where and how, but it's going to be generally in my around my left distal my my ankle because I've had such ligament laxity, and then I had a chronic high ankle sprain, and that's why he did surgery. And um, so we'll we'll just get back to this here in a few more minutes.